What do you think is the major issue that he's trying to get at? Yeah. Scientists are completely disconnected from society. Why do you say scientists are so totally disconnected? I mean, as far as Dr. Stockman went, my issue with him was that literally it was in like probably the first 20 pages or something. When he gets back his conclusions, figuring out there's something wrong with the water, he's like, oh, problem solved. You know, now we fix it and that's it and it's done. He seems like he solved all the world problems already without seeming to realize that it's not just done. He's got a lot to go through. He's going to have a lot of problems to deal with to get it done. Isn't that, however, endemic of the scientist and the engineer, in a sense? And I think you're right about being disconnected. Is the fact that, what was he really missing? I think he was missing any concept of social, political, and cultural ideas. People don't want to hear that their idols have clay feet, so to speak. And this was a spring that was supposed to bring them big economic gain. It was supposed to, it was supposed to basically save the town. Is there a problem of economically tying a culture to technology? A, do consequences matter in making ethical decisions? And B, do motives matter? There's the great discussion, the great disparity between Kantianism in the fact that in utilitarianism, consequences matter. And you can justify certain actions based on the consequences. Um, do they? Should they? I mean, I think they have to, because sometimes that's the only quantitative or even qualitative measurement that you can come up with. I mean, in the situation with the bats, I mean, either you shut down the bats for a period of two years and then this grand public expenditure economically cripples everyone, or you let people go on being infected with whatever diseases they have. Mm -hmm. So I think that sometimes, I mean, consequences matter and that you're forced to look at the lesser of two evils. The greatest issue is definitely, for me at least, the people versus the intellectual elite, or the people versus any sort of elite, and where truth and where rulership comes into play with that. What happens when truth conflicts with the will of the majority? I don't particularly like it because, why? Why would that be problematic to an engineer? What is truth in science? What is truth in technology? I mean, I think the thing that, that connects them but, but separates them in a sense is I think Jack Adele's life was based on judgment. Dr. Stockman's was based on truth, scientific evidence, scientific fact. That the question of whether the democratic guarantees protecting political minorities can be set aside in times of crisis. More personally, it is the question of whether one's vision of the truth ought to be a source of guilt at a time when the mass of men condemn it as dangerous and a devilish lie. And it's a, he says, probably the most enduring of Ibsen's themes. Because there never was, nor ever will be, according to Ibsen, an organized society able to countenance calmly the individual who insists that he is right, while the vast majority is absolutely wrong.